Hello and welcome to another Wobby Camo Guy video. If ever you wanted to track an item in your video clip, perhaps to add a visual effect or some text, I'm going to show you how to do this and this is utilising HitFilm Express. So in my timeline, I've got an aerial view there of the Statue of Liberty. And what I'd like to do is to add both a visual effect and also some text and attach them to that flame as the video progresses. So what we need to do first of all is to make a composite shot. So just a simple right click and hit make composite shot. Click the default, they're okay. Come across to our little triangle there, click that. We're now gonna go into track. So we hit the little green plus symbol there. Okay, a few things have happened since we've clicked that. First of all, now we've got a tracking control panel on the left hand side. We've gone from viewer mode into layer mode. When you're in viewer mode, this will show you the video clip, including any visual effects that you've made prior to doing your tracking. When you're in layer mode, it purely just shows you the elements within that layer and that's it, nothing else. And then also, what you can see there, we've got a small red and green square. And what these do, this can actually identify the area in the video clip that you want to track. So, first of all, let's zoom into our video clip. I'm just gonna pan across. And what I want to do is to track the top of that flame. So let me just move these up to that area. And I'll just zoom in a little bit more for you. And step across. There we go. So two squares. The green square, what that does, that identifies the area on your video clip that the actual what uh, you want the computer to follow. And then the green the red square, what that does. That identifies the actual element that you want to track. Okay, and you can adjust the shape of these to suit. So basically, the green square is showing the computer whereabouts within the video clip, and then the red square is the actual element that you want to track. And then in the middle of that, you'll also see then a pair of cross S. That's going to be the center of our tracking point. So let me zoom back out to normal mode. What we need to do then is track this element right the way through our video clip. And we can do, we could actually start tracking halfway through the video clip if you wanted to. You don't have to do it from the start, but I'm just gonna make it nice and simple. So we come across to our left hand control panel here and we'll click track forward. And what this now does, it starts to play the video clip and it tracks all the datum points for the top of that flame from the start of the video clip to the end. And as it starts to progress, you'll start just to see there, start of the trail of the datum points uh, from when we started our video clip, tracking the top of that flame. So I'll just fast forward this for you. Okay, we're coming towards the end now. Okay, so we're completing now. So if I move my cursor up and down the timeline, you can see that it's following the date and point of that flame right from the start right to the very end. Okay. What we now need to do is to create a new point layer. So we click on new layer and we click on point. Screen goes blank. A simple reason is don't forget we're still in a layer mode. And what this is is just because there's no visual element to this point layer, then it's just it's displaying nothing. So what we need to do now is go back onto our tracker and we need to transfer that tracking information to the new point layout. And a very easy way to do this, we're in transform, and all we do is select new point, apply, and this has now transferred that tracking information to the new point layout. The reason we do that is all the various sort of visual effects and text we need to parent to that new point layer sounds complicated it isn't but let me just demonstrate the fact that, that information has gone alpha if you look at transform if you look in the position that shows all the change of the key points of the position of that flame so now we come to the fun part what we need to do now I'm going to do a couple of things first of all I want to add some text so I'm going to type some text Can do we can move this to suit on our screen so I'm just going to put it about there and what we need to do to that is to parent it to the new point so we come across here and we click new point so that is now fixed to that tracking point and then what I also want to do is add a little visual flame effect just for a bit of fun so I've got one here 
just going to move that across so it will go in. Okay, it's got a, a, a green background. We're going to get rid of that in a second. But what we've got basically is a flame effect, as you can just start to see it there. The way we get rid of that green background, it's simple. Go into King. If I can find it. There we go. Go into Color Difference Key. Key. Bring that across. Brings it. To, it gets rid of that. And I've shown how to do that on another video clip. If you just pop across my channel. Uh, it'll, there's a little video that shows you how to um, add sort of like buttons, etc. It shows you exactly how to do that. So what this is is a little sort of video element of a flame. I'm just going to pop that across there because I think when you're welcome to New York, it's like a nice big flame as a welcome. So again, what I'm going to do then is parent that to our new point. So again, it attaches itself to that data. We'll bring it right across here. And now when I play this, it should show the flame and I'll show this in full view because on the playback on Hit Film Express is not the best. And there we go. So that's a simple way to add a tracking element to your video clip to add either text or a visual effect. Hope this proved useful. If it does, then pop across to my channel. There's plenty more Hit Film Express videos there. And if it did prove useful, then perhaps you consider hitting that like button. And as always, appreciate you watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.